for the tour of the George Washington Mansion. That's how it looks like. Back there. This is the mansion of the founding father of the United States. Hi. So what's what? What is this room? Uh, I assume is that they would have had plenty of dishes to carry the food into the house okay. and the fine china is stored next to the kitchen. So that way if it gets dropped in transit, it's not a valuable plate that's getting broken. Okay. So this is where he passed? Uh, yeah, so General Washington died there on December 14th, 1799 at the age of 67. Wow, oh gosh, okay. Something that he requested, it opened like they killed him, but it literally did take his body. Yeah. Oh, so what was the illness? Was he? Uh, so doctors said he had something called Kinsey at the time, which was basically a, a medical term that we don't use anymore, but it meant anything wrong with the throat, really. Oh, the so throat. Okay. A strep throat, just a sore throat, would have they would have probably called it Quincy okay. if doctors treated him. Hey, YouTube is Think Museum, and I'm here at the George Washington Mansion at Mount Vernon here in Washington, D.C and they're just checking out some of the history about the founding father of the United States. Um, he lived here and passed away in 1799 and in this plantation he had over seven, 300 slaves. Uh, 172 were his own slaves, the rest were hired from different plantations. So this is how the plantation looks like. Uh, behind me is the plantation house or the mansion that is being reconstructed and when he's in his plantation behind me, he'll be able to see the Potomac River. So this is pretty cool. Yeah. Are these the original stuff that were in the house, the chairs and everything? Many of them, some of them are original. We can't point out at all because, quite honestly, they change it in and out without us knowing because of okay. the climate. Yeah. Uh, but everything, all the, all the way in that corner in the mirror, uh -huh. the white statue is all original. Yeah. Uh, this one made, but this buffet made by the same gentleman in Philadelphia, same time period. The museum, the uh, Smithsonian Museum has the museum. So. Oh, wow. Um, it was made by the same gentleman, just not the one that George Washington owned. Uh, they didn't have an inventory, so we know exactly what was in each other. Yeah. And wow. some of it because of the paintings. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> very few of the paintings. These river ones are still original. Uh, many of oh. the others we have in curatorial storage because of climate. We're not right. climate controlled. Right. It's good. Louis XVI. Okay. Yeah. What? Thank you. It's King Louis XVI of France. That was a gift. We know it had to be commissioned by the king because it has King Louis XVI on top. <laughs>
Oh, this is an old this is an old room in the house. The, this is an old room in the house. Yeah. Wow. It was built by built by your dad. It was built by George Washington's father. Yeah. <laughs> this, was, this is the original wallpaper, right? Okay. It's more of a, it's more of a painting. Have. of all the guest bedrooms, were there ones that the most important people went to? The yellow one. That's Lafayette. 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 Oh, wow. That is, that is pretty. If it is the original thing. <coughs> Canopy beds. <laughs> Is that the original stuff that in there? Not here, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> but those are 18th century book beds. It's all it's furnished the way it was in the 18th century. Oh, yes. cool. And what is this? Hmm? What is this guy? Third floor has storage and three more bedrooms. Yeah. That is modeled after the Washington's wallpaper that he put up yeah. after he came back here from the presidency. Mm -hmm. Same pattern, made to order for Mount Vernon. And do you know how long that wallpaper, the one you're, this one, yeah. do you know how long this has been up? No. How long? 40, 50 years? A full two years. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> this belt wallpaper here in the small bedroom? Uh -huh. Oh, so long. Five years. Three weeks. Three oh. weeks. Oh. <laughs> we had some paper hangers in there. <laughs> they opened the wallpaper store. <laughs> yeah. On the street. Right. You have to order it from France. Oh, wow. The latest technology. Yeah. yeah. Nowadays, in China, you can have everything replicated. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this this rooms are just remodeled after. Huh? I mean the setup is what it looked like. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think World Cup was the real deal back then. Also, where George Washington died on December fourteenth, seventeen ninety-nine. Age of sixty-seven. Yes, wow. at the age of sixty-seven. He, he died young. That was actually considered old. That was old, 67? So they took a lot of blood, uh, but that was part of ways in which was common medical treatment and practice at the time. Um, and it's something that he requested. It's ultimately what didn't kill him, but it severely weakened his body. Yeah. Oh, so what was the illness? Was he? Uh, so doctors said he had something called Quincy at the time, which Quincy. is basically a, a medical term that we don't use anymore, but it meant anything wrong with the throat, really. Oh, the so throat. Okay. A strep throat, just a sore throat, would have they would have probably called it Quincy. Quincy. Okay. If doctors treated him today, they probably would have said he had epiglottitis, so the inflammation of the upper throat. Oh, so wow. whatever infection he had in there caused his throat to, to swell. Wow. <laughs> Interesting, he didn't have it on the side with the view. This way he got a lot of southern light, so yeah, more yeah, light yeah, for longer. Warm, warm, uh, yeah. So this is where he passed? Uh, yeah, so General Washington died there on December 14th, 1799 to 67. Wow, oh gosh, okay. Wow. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Enjoy the rest of your tour. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Uh, Please be safe down the stairs. Uh, okay. This clearing is 5'8", so you can pretty short back The beds are 6'6", actually. 6'6". 6'6". Oh, a lot of people bumped in. 6'2 and a half.
Hi. So what's what what is this room? This is George Washington's private study. Oh. Uh, and this is the original stuff, right? This is how it used to look like back then? Yes, it's a lot of original. Wow. Are those books original in there? Or yes, yes. Wow. wow. <laughs> Touch them and they turn to dust, right? Yeah, that's really cool. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. Cool. Nice, thank, thank you. you. That's George Washington study. They have to wake up every morning at 4 a.m. Uh, the big wow. part of that is to get the fires going, the bread oven and the main cooking fire, get all that ready to go so that breakfast is ready to serve at 7 o'clock in the morning. Wow. <laughs> yeah. oh. Yes, there's a room, uh, room for dishwashing on the left and the right, and then a room for storage, food storage on the left. Meat. Meat, vegetables, sort of that day's ingredients, right? Keep the stuff that's going to be used uh, close to hand. Refrigerator down. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, the cooler? Yeah, that's about as cold as it's going to get, is putting it down under yeah. the ground. Yeah, yeah, no refrigeration back then, no okay. cold storage. <laughs> Oh, look at the hooks they have there. No, they're so based on so they, uh, from Arizona. Yeah, we're going to be So what we imagine, what we assume is that they would have had cleaner dishes to carry the food into the house. Okay. And the fine china is stored next to the kitchen. So that way, if it gets dropped in transit, uh, it's not a valuable plate that's getting broken. Okay. Uh, do you have a lane on the side? Like, yeah. I don't. You don't know? Uh, okay. Again, this is not, these are not yeah. things that have been found here, but they're things that we, you know, based on other kitchens like this, uh, yeah. we imagine they would have had something like that. Okay. Awesome. Washington Mansion. That's how it looks like. Back there. This is the mansion of the founding father of the United States. So we just came from his bedroom to the various rooms in the house. And that was a very interesting visit that we had here at the George Washington Museum Mansion and the Stink Museums. And thank you guys for subscribing.